New research shows Omicron is causing a new and potentially serious symptom in children under five. Pfizer is now asking for approval to start vaccinating that same age group. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on the urgency surrounding shots for kids as young as six months. Since the arrival of Omicron, Brady Children's Hospital has noticed a shift in the symptoms of patients under five. More and more of these young kids have been coming in with a distinctive barking cough called croup. Our hospitalists were telling us, look, these kids who are coming in with Omicron, there's a lot of croup. Dr. John Bradley says croup is an infection of the upper airways that can also be caused by the flu, and it can be serious if untreated. It's mostly found in babies and toddlers who have the smallest airways. So if you have a child with a small airway, who gets any swelling of the mucous membranes of the airway, then it's, it's difficult to get air down into the lungs. A new study funded by NIH found that cases of croup at children's hospitals nearly tripled in December when Omicron took off. Overall, serious illness in kids remains rare, but the study found one third of the kids with croup from COVID developed severe disease. Omicron tends to target the upper respiratory tract and Delta uh, tends to target the lungs. So it all makes sense. Throughout the pandemic, the hospitalization rate for kids has been well below the rate for adults. But two weeks ago, the rate for kids four and younger nearly tied the rate for adults. Both had seven hospitalizations out of every 100,000 people in the age group. That's why doctors are so eager to get a vaccine for this youngest age group. But finding the right dose has been a challenge. In December, Pfizer announced that its ultra low dose shots performed well in kids six months to two years old, but the antibody levels weren't as good in kids two to four. Some predicted Pfizer would need to restart the trial, but the FDA encouraged the company to apply for emergency authorization anyway. The two doses didn't get as high a protection as they wanted, but it got you, it got you part way there. Dr. Bradley says all signs suggest three doses will work and the shots are safe. So by authorizing the vaccine now, parents can start the series as soon as possible while more data comes in. We're getting vaccine into kids two to three months earlier with this method with, with no problems with safety. He says there's added urgency for vaccines because Rady is just beginning to see the first cases of MISC from Omicron. That's the rare inflammatory syndrome that can cause rashes all over the body. Last month, the CDC found that Pfizer's vaccine was 91% effective at preventing MISC in older kids. Derek Stahl. ABC 10 News. FDA advisors will vote on Pfizer's application here in about two weeks. A new poll by the Kaiser Family Foundation finds that 31% of parents said they would get their child vaccinated as soon as it's authorized. That's up from 20% in July. Also tonight, a big